Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Brewers Baseball Rules coming at you with an IP autograph recap from the Miami Marlins versus the Milwaukee Brewers at Miller Park. I went on Saturday, July 20th. The game was at 2013. Yeah, well, I mean, it was at the 2013 at 6:10 p.m. Um, before I show the autographs, I got eight autographs at the game, uh, so I think that's pretty good for me. But before I get started, I'm gonna show who didn't sign. Um, Mike Radman didn't sign. Hechevaria said he would sign for me at least, but he never came back. And then like three, like three or four guys signed for the Marlins be, like pregame, but um, I was at the Brewers side. And Jeff Matt, he's not the best of players, but I really wanted him because he was a former Angel, but I, he skipped me. Uh, Steve Ciszek, uh I think he was shagging balls. I didn't see Coglin because I'm pretty sure he did not travel. Uh, Marcel Zuno was being a really big D-bag. He would not sign for anyone. Austin Kearns didn't travel, I don't think. Diamond Solano didn't sign. Juan Pierre ran in. Uh, I didn't see AJ Ramos. Placido Polanco, same deal with um, Marcel Zuno. Uh, I thought Miguel Oliva was on the roster, but I guess he's not. Henderson Alvarez didn't sign. He ran in. Jacob Turner didn't sign because he pitched the night before. Dobbs signed for like one person, I think. It was like some lady, like on the third baseline. I didn't see Avaldi done or slowly. Avaldi was starting. Kochman didn't travel. Uh, Stanton didn't sign on Saturday. Saturday. Uh, John Carlo. Some more cards for him. Then extra didn't sign. Uh, Gomez said he would sign, but the security guy told him that he had to go back. To, he had to warm up first, at least, and then he, after he was done warming up, the trainer set, whispered something to him. He was coming over to me, and then um, the trainer pretty much just said, "You got to go back in." And then Willie ignored. Mike Gonzalez ignored. Giovanni didn't sign because he was starting. Corey is injured. Just brought the cards along in case. Ricky was catching the ceremonial first pitch, so he didn't warm up. Gorzolani promised he would me he would sign, but he never came back. Bettencourt uh, didn't sign. Aramis and Marco are injured. Kyle ran in. Didn't see Braun. So, all right, on to the autographs. So, first on his first big league home run ticket... From the game against the Reds, I got Sean Halton asking for a personalization. And if you could inscribe first big league home run in the day, but I don't think you heard me. Then on my ticket, I got Derek Dietrich. Cool guy. And next, I got three of three from Logan Morrison. Here's the first one on the 2011 Tops. And the next one on this year's 2013 Heritage. And then uh, the 2012 Tops for the set. It's kind of funny because this is the he signed this one the best. Then he went to... Decent, then he just shortened it up. Then, but if anybody has a 2012 Heritage, I didn't have this card. Like, there's some cards for there I don't have, so I need I need some of them. But if anyone has a 2012 Heritage, signed Heritage by Logan Morrison, I'll trade one of these. And then I got two from Rob Brantley. This is the one I got. He's usually one, I thought he was like, he did multiples, but I guess he's only one pair. This is the one I got. On the 2013 tops, then my uncle got me the one in the Bowman. And this is the mojo right here. I'll tell you, it's not Braun, but it's either Sagira or Aoki. So I'm going to slow roll this one. Just give me a second. Locking it with the Mike Redmond card. Yep, Norwich Kai Aoki. He was the he and Juan Francisco were the last ones warming up, and um, he started to do a slight jog. And I'm like, heck, there's no way he'll sign. He signed once at Miller Park this year, and he signed. He usually only signs on the road. He's only signed like three times ever at Miller Park. I'm pretty sure, and I was able to get him. A little, if it wasn't. I'm thanking that little kid who was down there, because if it wasn't for that little kid, I don't think Aoki would have signed. Probably he might have, but you never know. So I'm very happy. I'm, um, really doesn't he really doesn't know that much English? I I'm pretty sure. So, like, I said thank you so much. Nori means a lot. He just smiled. So that was cool. 
But anyways, guys, I consider this major mojo since he rarely ever signs. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more vids. Thanks.